Is these bundles from finesse hair company and she goes to my school so i decided just to you know support she just did her relaunching and so i bought the inches 20 22 and 24 with a 20 inch transparent closure so i'll show you all what this is looking like it has these you know little labels on it i never really had a transparent closure so i really don't know what to base it off of but here it is. It seems like the lace is pretty thick. It's a free part closure. It comes with baby hairs on it. Um, 4x4 four four and it's 20 inches. Here's the card that I was referring to. It has straight mark next to it and the inch of 20. Here's this. I like how it feels. It feels soft, and I like how the bundles are. I like when bundles are, like this is how it's supposed to be, I assume. Like full all the way to the end, and like the blunt cut instead of like the faded out, if you know what I mean. My initial unboxing review, let's see. There are some, like some hairs poking out, some shorter hairs, so. But I guess the bundle is still pretty full. And like I said, this is a 20 inch, so it's not too long, but I'll see when I put them all together. I did want to get four bundles, but I decided not to for whatever reason, but. Yeah, so this is my initial review of the hair, and I'll be making a video on making a wig also. But as of now, that's what you get. So yeah. Okay, so the next couple minutes of the video is just me sewing in the bundles into the wig cap. The first two bundles are double, and the third bundle is single.
three bundles were used and now I'm done sewing in the tracks. So now it's time to cut the lace from underneath my closure and time to style. I used a little bit of setting foam to lay down the flyaways to begin plucking. This part is totally up to you whether you like a thicker part or a thinner part. And usually I like to pluck a lot, but this time I just, you know, did a simple part since I wasn't really using baby hair. So yeah, be careful when you pluck because once you mess up, it's pretty hard to fix. Okay, get out. Get out. Okay, go, go, so go. for this video, I wasn't planning on doing any gluing down or anything, but okay. I just want to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to use these two. Because I don't really want it to be, I don't really want it to be uh, glue for real. So just want the lace to blend in a little bit. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this across the front. So apparently, when I recorded my video earlier of me taking my scarf off, you could only see that. So I decided to redo the part about me, you know, using cut to bleed to lay down the lace or whatever. So here are the results. But it's cool. But here are my finished results. If you'd like to add edges, maybe here you can do that with this type of wig. But I decided not to for this amount of time. So yeah. I thank you all for watching my video. I hope you learned something or liked it. And you know, stay tuned for more. And if you are not a subscriber, I hope this video will make you subscribe. Yeah. 